if you've been on TikTok for quite some time or maybe you're new to the platform, at some point you've probably asked yourself the question, how are people successful on this platform? I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do and how you can implement it also. And I'm gonna cover some frequently asked questions. This way you can get those likes, shares, comments, and followers that you're looking for, starting right now. Okay, so first things first, why TikTok versus Instagram, YouTube, Facebook? TikTok is the number one hottest trending instant growth based platforms that there is out there right now. And there's so many different ways that you can monetize your channel somewhat like on other platforms. You can sell merchandise on TikTok. You can put links in your bio, sell things off of the TikTok store that's not yours. People can pay money toward a video if they want to give you a tip or if they want to say thanks, just like on YouTube, they can send you gifts. You can also get low key merch deals from brands who are just starting up or maybe they've been around for quite some time. You hear what I'm saying? but how do you really be successful? One thing you want to remember is you want to make sure that you are engaging with the people who are commenting on your video. Even if it's hello, hi, first, second, third, I was the first to comment. You want to make sure that you are liking those comments. Thank you for stopping by, thank you for commenting. That way people are seeing that there is actually some engagement going back and forth between you and them. And also responding to the comments, whether it's text comment or a video reply comment, is building a sense of community around your content. You know, you're not just posting for you to get views, likes, shares, and comments, but you actually know who's commenting. Maybe, oh, you haven't seen them comment in about two weeks, but now you guys talk all the time. You can reach out and probably off of TikTok, find them on a different platform and interact with them and actually talk with them. It would be no different than on YouTube, how they maybe name their channel, you know, Styler Nation, you know, um, whatever type of names people give their YouTube channels, you could probably say, you know what, your TikTok channel has an audience, you know, a community, you guys know each other. So whatever you're uh, making videos about, whatever that title you wanna give it, Shaker Nation, you know, hey, what's up Shaker Nations, you know, I don't know. But anyway, you want to make sure that you have a community. So when you do start selling merchandise, when you do start, you know, advertising, you know, things, people want to buy from you because they're excited for what you offer and what you bring to the table. Be ahead of the game. When it comes to seasons and holidays, make sure that you are researching those holidays or seasons before the time gets here. So as we just celebrated Christmas, you know, what type of Christmas videos can you make on TikTok? Whether it's around, you know, comedy, if it's leading up to the 12 days of Christmas, maybe you're making videos with a Santa hat on, or maybe, you know, the birth of Jesus, you know, things that, you know, people want to see during that time. Maybe it's, you know, uh, sweaters and pajama outfits, or maybe it's unboxing gifts. Those are the things you want to think about. Oh, I can make this video during the month of December. What about pumpkin spice? When fall is here, or even winter, the different coffee shops are promoting pumpkin spice. So your videos could be tasting and trying out the new pumpkin spice drink at uh, Dutch Bros, Starbucks, you know, putting your own spin to a series you want to do showcasing the different pumpkin spice coffees. Be ahead of the game for seasons, holidays, special occasions that come around once a year, uh, such as Christmas, New Year's Eve, summer, spring break, fall, winter, all of those things where you can think ahead of time, this time is coming, what type of videos can I make? And you know that everyone else is going to be making similar videos, so you can actually have an opportunity to look at their videos and see what you can do as well. This is gonna help you grow your platform. And of course, as much as you hate to hear it, stay on it. I can't tell you the number of people that I know on TikTok and YouTube who've tried and stopped tried and stopped. You have to have consistency and you need to stay on it. Even when you don't see growth, whether it's been a few months, six months, maybe you're steady and you're hitting that year mark and you're slowly growing, but not how you 
want to grow, keep at it, especially if you love creating content. You shouldn't stop creating content because you're not necessarily seeing the views because those videos will always be there. At least every two days, you should be uploading a video or creating new content. If you don't want to make a video, you can always turn a long form video or a long video into a smaller segment video and re-upload that or take little snippets from a video you've already made on TikTok and upload that. It's still going to get you views. It's going to reach a wider audience just like on YouTube. You can't go wrong with that. Make sure you know the platform. Spend time scrolling on TikTok. Watch the content. Consume the content. See what's working for other users. How many views does this video have? How many likes, shares, and comments? Keep scrolling, look at that video, keep scrolling, look at the next video. All the videos on the For You page have something in common. And it's important that you take notes if you want to be on the For You page, and especially if you want the analytics that the current video you're watching has. Make sure that your profile description is filled out. Make sure that your username is about what your channel is catered to. So if it's comedy, make sure your uh, username has something to do with comedy or if it's photography or if it's dance or you know if it's uh, trending uh, topics or viral videos, if it's news related, make sure that your username and your bio, if it was photography, it'd probably be photography tips 101. This way, when people land on your profile, they can see, okay, this is the place I wanna go to watch more of this type of content. But if they go to your profile and there's just random videos everywhere, why would someone want to follow you if they're not really sure on what they're getting? This is why it's important that you be specific in exactly what you are uploading, what you're telling your viewer that they are going to see. Description is everything. People love to read descriptions, whether you believe it or not, while they're watching a video before they go to the comments, they're looking at the title of the video. They're looking at the question. You know, they already know that this video is going to be quick and short, or it might be a 10 minute video. So they are looking at the description. So if you want to grow that watch time, if you are trying to increase your viewership, you want to make sure, give them something to read. They're there on your video. You might as well add something in the caption. I also would make sure that you were the first to comment on that video say anything that you couldn't say in the caption, um, ask a question. This is creating engagement. So not only are they watching your video, are they looking at your caption, but you're the first comment. You are the first comment and you ask a question and now you're prompting them to respond. All it's gonna do is keep them on your profile. Make sure that you are always making content that people want to watch, such as DIY, uh, pranks, how-tos, tutorials, comedy. These are videos that just never get old. If you're a dancer, make sure you're doing the dance trends. This is stuff that is always on TikTok. There are videos that are only for seasons, um, maybe if it's election videos or deals with the government. C certain things come and go, but there are evergreen videos just like YouTube that people always like to watch and it never gets old. Hey, these are just a few things that you can do and implement right now, especially if you're new to the platform or if you've been on it for a little while but you're not seeing any growth. These are proven tips that I've used on my own account um, as well as other platforms. Trust me, they work. If you don't hear anything else from this video is make sure you enjoy doing what you're doing and you keep add it if you want to know who's viewing your profile make sure you click on this video it's going to show you who's been watching you and maybe you didn't even know it all right until next time i will see you on the next video